Hello everybody! I'm continuing on my bead haul um, series of videos here. This is an example of what's out there when you search for bulk beads. This is a pound of beads that came in a bag. They're all mixed. There's bugles and there's little 15s and looks like sixes and the odd 11 here and there, some eights and some trade beads, lots of cool stuff. So it's out there. Just search for bulk beads on eBay or wholesale, one of the two keywords, and you'll find really cool stuff. If you're cool with mixes like this, I know some of us probably aren't comfy with it, but I like them because it gives me ideas when I get mixed. Uh, that's kind of an aside. This video I'm going to focus more on like the, the what I call specialty um, beads for beadworking, like um, two hole beads mainly, because they are kind of specialized and um, not easy to get your hands on, if, depending where you live. So most of mine came from Aura Crystals. There's also another company in the Czech Republic that I like to get beads from because they have them and they ship for free so it's great. Um, these are little half checkmates. Very very cute in a... Oh they call them brick beads but they're basically half checkmates kind of like the half tilas they have now. Um, these are blue iris and they're a really nice nice color. I'm very fond of this color. Um, it'll go great with a lot of stones that I have and a lot of um, crystal that I have. And what do I is this receipt sitting here? It is. <laughs> they all told. Um, the strand, now this is before I realized they had the free shipping over 25 bucks or I would have bought way more. To save some money but this was the only strand I ordered that particular time so the shipping actually cost more than the beads the beads there's 50 of them on the strand the beads were two dollars and 94 cents and I paid six dollars and 20 cents American for the shipping so I ended up paying a lot of money for these beads I ended up paying nine dollars and 14 cents so that's a lot of money for a strand of beads and I learned my lesson the hard way with that one. So, that being said, <laughs> next time I went to Aura Crystals. Oh, another thing about the eBay shopping thing, some sellers and Aura Crystals is one of them and I've run into others. They, if you're shopping with the eBay app on your phone, sometimes you can't get I don't, I don't, I haven't figured out why, and I have yet to ask the eBay people why, but for some reason, sometimes, um, you can't get the deals, like the dis the discounted um, shipping stuff, or coupon codes, or whatever, um, it doesn't work on the app, it'll work on the full site, so if you go on your computer, it'll work, but if you're on a mobile device, it tends to not work, I I have no idea what the difference is or why it has to be like that because most of us I think are on mobile devices now whether it be our phones or our iPads or something like that so anyway with Aura Crystals if I'm going to shop with them I go on my laptop now so that I can take advantage of combined shipping that being said that's just a word to the wise um, I did a bunch of shopping there. There's some more uh, two holds. They're peridot colored. Peridot Twilight Checkmates. They're very cool. I like Checkmates a lot. I know that Tila's seem to be the most popular two hole tile style bead, but I really like these ones because they offer a different texture to your work, different dimensions. So. I got those in amongst a bunch of regular seed beads, which I'll kind of gloss over here. 
I was smart. Yeah, I saved the receipt. I'm so smart. Okay. Now for the, the, the checkmates. 50 on a strand. $3.77. So, that's not bad. Um... Miyuki Delicacy. Oh, they must be talking about these. These are those really pretty nickel plated um, uh, Delicas that they have now that are way more expensive, but they really look great and they're worth the flash. $3.90 for this. Um, mm -hmm. Bumbling around black diamond check for polish. Here we go. Black diamond, very pretty. Check check fire polish beads. Two dollars and eighty seven cents for a hundred of them. I should have ordered way more. <laughs> um, oh oh yeah, and these I didn't even know these existed until I started this last um, shopping. They're triangle beads with two holes at the on one side of the triangle. They're equilateral. I ordered these in like a de denim blue because they are so cool. They're called... There are 15 grams of them here. 6mm 2 hole triangle beads metallic suede blue. So there's 15 grams of them. And they were $4.69. So they're really neat. I want to try just experiment with them a bit and then I might order more in different colors because they are neat. Uh, oh! And here we are with Beto Miyuki uh, Round seed bead, transparent matte pale pink, 30 grams, three dollars and nineteen cents. Okay, so I ordered a bunch of yeah eightos, which are not special. I know that, but I just wanted to share them with you anyway. I have Miyuki round seed bead eight o. Metallic blue, that would be these ones, yep. 30 gram bag for $3.55. They're really, really pretty. I love all the, uh, the irises and metallics and stuff they have now. Um, oh, green iris, 30 grams, 8 0. They're matte. These were, oh, that's interesting. These were way more for some reason. They were eight dollars and seven cents for the bag, so that's kind of a lot, unfortunately. But they're nice, really nice beads. Uh, do 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 do. Oh, some filas. They are a ten gram bag. Um, opaque matte turquoise A B. So there's a bit of an A B on them, even though they're matte. And these were four seventy eight, so not bad. And these were those other ones. Do do do. Ah, these are Toho, so they're not Miyuki. A little different. Eight oh transparent lime mist AB thirty grams, two dollars and seventy seven cents. So. That's a good deal. I think. Oh. And I use this color a lot in the 15s. It's, um, they're calling it, because it's a Toho, they're calling it um, a transparent champagne AB. I've also seen a very similar color like this um, called Rosalind. It's a very soft pink color. It's really, really great for doing your final little cinching rounds on uh, um, bezels and stuff. Sorry, I lost the word there. $2.25. So, not bad. 
And for me, there's only one store, and it's about an hour away from where I live now, um, that would have 15-0s. 15s, Rivoli's, all those are sold in this one store, and it's annoying to drive an hour just to get a bag of beads. It would cost me more in gas than it would than $2.25, so yeah. And I got, because I saw them and they're nice, Pink Aventurine, 6mm round, it's a 16 inch strand for $3.99, so I couldn't resist that. Because I like Aventurine a lot, and it's cool to get all the different colors of it, because there's green and orange and all different ones. Oh, and I got a thingy, because I'm going to try these, they're John James uh, short beading needles. They're a number 10 if you wanted to know. And those cost $3.99. So, yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm glad I saved the receipt on those. These, I don't think I have the receipt for, but they're two whole vintage plastic kind of crescent shaped beads. So you can see the two holes. They're probably from the, they're not that old, they're probably from the 70s, maybe even the 80s, 80s, because they're in amazing shape. There's no scratching on the plastic or anything, it is plastic. I didn't pay very much for them, probably three bucks, and I got 25 of them. So that'll be fun to try and incorporate into an earring maybe, because they are plastic, so they're not heavy. Ah, here's some fun beads right here. Fun beads, woo! Now, it appears I'm in the nerds and I didn't save the receipt on these. But, I do know the seller name at least. There's a seller on eBay named, um, I don't know what their proper name is, but I know that it's scarabeads.com, so S-C-A-R-A beads, B-E-A-D-S, all one word, dot com. And that was where I found um, all kinds of really cool um, two-hole beads and other ones like these. These are Rula beads, so they're like a round... Um, basically a half Tila, I would say. They're really cool looking. Anyway, and I got them in a neutral kind of cream, because, yes, cat. <laughs> the cat's like, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Um, he's not hungry, by the way. He just thinks he is. These are cool. I think I'm going to try them for a few different applications. So I ordered a bag. Um just to see how I like them. These I've seen, these are um, solo beads. The Preciosa Ornella solo beads. So they look like a twin or super duo bead, but they only have one hole in them. And weirdly, I can only find them in neons. I, I don't know why. I was hoping to find some other colors because I would have bought more, but I only found it in neon right now, so there you have it. And they were free shipping from Scara Beads. This bead person is in the Czech Republic, and they do all free shipping. And they're, you're getting great prices on everything because it's from the Czech Republic. So, yeah, it's a pretty sweet deal. I didn't think that I would find a sweet deal in the Czech Republic, but I did. Um... So yeah, it's a mixed bag of neon colors. There's yellow, green, orange, pink. Um, I think that's it. Fun neon. So I ended up getting some super duos as well to match that so that I had something of a companion because you can't really put them on their own. Okay, so after getting this bunch of neons, I got a bunch of regular colors. 
Um, oh, these are from Scudder Beads. They're three millimeter fire polishes in like a on a a silvery kind of steely looking finish. They're pretty awesome. And these are from different sellers. Let's see. Ah, these are nice. These are like a ruby red on one side and a, and a gold on the other side. They're super duos. And they're from um, the Czech Republic. Again, I got them for free sh with free shipping and I don't have the receipt anymore so I don't know what I paid for them. I'm sorry. But it wasn't that much and I was very impressed that they did free shipping. And they combined everything in the shipping so that I didn't have to wait over a million years for 10 envelopes with one thing in them. So that was awesome. So yeah, apparently that's a good thing to do is to shop directly from the country of origin apparently. Yeah, so this is like a, a, a light, what you might call a light cyan with an opaque gold on the one side. Very pretty. This is a mixed bag. It'll go great with those mixed sea beads. Like look, they look like they were meant to go together. They're from different people, but uh, different sellers. But the beads look like they match. It's weird. It's, it's pretty sweet. So uh, I'm excited about that. This is a bigger bag. Looks like I got um, three times 20 grams, so I guess 60 grams is what I'm gonna guess from Scara Beads. And they're all different finishes. So there's some that are clear, some that have a salon finish, some that are matte, some that are, yeah, they're all different. There's yellow, red, blue. Gold, pink, purple, yeah, Picasso finishes in there. There's lots. I love mixes. They're just my favorite thing. This is from Scotta Beads again, and it's 80 pieces, so 80 beads of this kind of red, almost hyacinth colored um, Aurora Borealis Tila. Well, checkmate. They're definitely a checkmate, but they remind me of those crystals uh, that I was talking about in the bicone video with the the double AB hyacinth. That's what they look like. They're really nice. These are from another seller, Little Devil Beads on eBay. Um, that's their link: stores.ebay.com forward slash little dash devil dash beads. And these are. Um, Twins, I think, because they have that different shape. Although they look like supers, it's hard to know. But they call it mixture color number 29. But they're basically all clear with an inner color where the holes are. So there's pink and there's gray and there's yellow. They look pretty neat. I got them because I liked that aspect of them. They're mostly clear. But they have that hint of color, which is really fun. What else do I have for you, my friends? Ah! More from our friends at Aura Crystals. Yay! Can't go wrong with that. These look like they're all half teal eyes. And they are. Yep. Yuki Half Tila Seed Bead Light Amethyst Gold Luster. So that's going to be this one. Real nice. 10 grams, $5.80. It's that luster, I think, that costs more. Really nice, though. Half Tila Seed Bead Metallic Purple Green Iris. Ah, this one. That's awesome. I have those Edo Seed Beads that would go perfect. These were $4.60. So, yeah. And there's 10 grams. 
Oh, nice staple one to have around. White. Half Tila Seed Bead Opaque White AB. 10 grams. $4.66. Miyuki Half Tila Seed Bead Opaque Rose Luster. 10 grams. $4.86. Very pretty. Like a nice soft. Dusty Rose. It's, it kind of reminds me of the 50s. <laughs> Everything was that pink. That unique pink. Oh, yay. Look at that. I, I'm telling you, I shopped so much that I, <laughs> that I forgot what I have because I haven't been bead working. These are petal those neat petal beads. I got them specifically to make a, a, a pendant that I saw on um, Ruby Lockwood's channel. Uh, they are... What do they call them? They're from Bead Bistro, I think. Apollo Gold. Check rose petals. They're really, really pretty. I recommend these. 8 by 7 millimeter. I don't know how many is on a strand or how long the strand is, but it's kind of gold on, on one side and like a soft, just a soft bronzy neutral. So these are going to serve a lovely purpose. I <clears throat> While I was uh, digging around, I found... The receipt from Bead Bistro for the petal beads, they were $5.82. Oh, I see, because I bought two. Quantity two. Hmm, looks, well, there might be two strands there. I hope so. That's what I bought. <laughs> so there. And I paid $3.20 shipping. But they were a cool store. They were cool. I found them on eBay, but it looks like they have their own separate store. So if you go to beadbistro.com, you'll find some cool things. I am sure of it. It's bead, B-E-A-D, bistro, B-I-S-T-R-O.com. And this is from Koala Beads. Koala Beads is in Glendora, California. So, not far away from where I live, actually. And this seller was really, really cute. She um, was doing a promo for free shipping and stuff. Uh, or I think she was. No, she just, she didn't have the, she didn't realized that I was buying more than one thing so she kind of charged overcharged me for shipping so when I got in touch with her I was like dude I just paid like 50 bucks in shipping that's totally not on she's like no it isn't so she refunded me a bunch of money so sometimes all you gotta do is just ask a seller hey you know I did this thing and they'll take care of you the good ones will um the ones that you can't communicate with, that just don't answer you or whatever, they're the ones to leave negative feedback for and not go back to. <laughs> but this lady at Koala was really, really nice. And she was like, no, no, you way overpaid. So anyway, let's see. We have red. Miyuki, it's like a transparent red. It's like a light Siam, if you will. Half Tila. 10 grams um, for $6.49. This is an American. Yeah. Koalabeads.com. But I went through eBay. And. Ah, oh, I got some crystal clear ones, which are great to have around in case you want something a little bit understated. So, same thing. Half Tila, 10 grams. These were $4.21 for a bag. Uh, gold Iris. 
I'm really digging the gold iris lately, I see. <laughs> Sometimes you don't realize what you're looking for, what you like, you know? These these are 10 grams, again, $6.21. It's probably the iris that's making that price up, go up. Um, oh, a light gun metal, half Tila, $5.85, 10 grams. Really nice. I'm looking forward to that. And these are a transparent green Tila. They're new in stock for her. She's like, new style. $6.49. And that's all I paid for. Now, she gave me these cool little free things. Sometimes you get cute little free gifts. These are O beads that I've I've heard of them. I've seen them around. I don't have any. But I have this little sample bag of like 10 of them. And they're red with this cool metallic kind of um, goldy finish on the other side. They're really fun looking though. They're one by four millimeters, so they're really little. Really cute. Ruby Red AB is what they're called. So if you want them, that's what they're called. I might get some next time. And I got a sample of Tila's. They are White Pearl Salon. Looks like I got eight. So that's fine. I can use them for a ring base or something. I don't know if I would buy them. Because they're that funky salon finish that I'm kind of eating about. But anyway, and I also got last, this is the last kind of thing, um, these little tiny Montes, or Monte, the French-Canadian side of me that went to French immersion school wants to say Monte, because they are a mounted stone on a metal base. That's Monte. <laughs> I know that everybody says Monte, but... <laughs> I feel weird saying Monty. It's like tomato and tomato, you know? It's weird. Um, anyway, they're a nice blue, and they're a little tiny. Like, they're probably three millimeters. They're a little wee. I don't remember where I got them from or how much I paid for them, but I hope that I get to use them. They've been popular in rings and stuff like that, so really pretty. And, uh, that's that. Um, apart from that, that's about all I got for two whole stuff. I have other cool things that I found just by searching, just random, like just searching for beads. And um, I found weird things like this. They're, they're lightning bolts, and these are umbrellas, and... These are dyed howlite hearts and howlite starfish. So, good luck out there. And remember to like and favorite and um, you know watch this channel thrive if you like and subscribe. So, have fun shopping, my friends, with your Christmas money or just because money or whatever you're doing. And I'll talk to you very, very soon. I promise. Bye.